to us a few Sabbaths ago when we got the news that our dear Simone was seriously ill. And even while we prayed and we began to make plans to visit her, the shocking news came the following day that she had passed on. Our community in Hopewell, and in particular Macquarie, was overcome with grief. But even as the tears filled our eyes, precious memories of Parsha flooded our minds. We were then able to find some comfort in the fact, not that she had died, but that she had lived, she had laughed, she had loved, and she was loved. Parsha and I grew up in the same community, Macquarie, where she spent half of her life. We went to the same school, the same primary, the same high schools, the same church, and so there's so much that I could say about her today. Humility, integrity, patience, kindness are only a few of the virtues that Parsha so effortlessly displayed. Indeed, her parents, Tadi and Brother Earl, had allowed God to build their house, and so their labor was not in vain. Parsha loved the Lord from she was a little child, and she was always involved in the activities of her church. She was always involved and seasoned our Sabbath school and our EY programs with her spirituality, and she never said no. Parsha always strived to do her best at whatever she did, at church or at school. Back then, if for any reason she didn't know the morning watch text well enough, or the song that she sung didn't come out quite right, Parsha would cry. Of course, her, mellows, her vocals mellowed over the years, and whenever she returned and sang, we would laugh about those crying days. Just as she never said no, it was always hard for anybody to tell her no, being such a quiet and endearing soul that she was. I remember the days when we walked home from high school, and she lived a little further than I did. And after I put down my bag, I would have to follow her partway, she would say. But even as I followed her everywhere I reached, she would say, just a little further, Melanie. And a little further would end up at her home. But then she had to put down her bag and followed me partway again. I remember Tari asking sometime, Melanie and Parsha, when are you going to stop walking up and down? But so it was. Precious times some of us can recall were spent under that robin tree. We had laughter, healthy, fun laughter, and those days we can never forget. Ad Astro Paraspro. To the stars through difficulties was our motto at Mount Alvernia. Simone persevered and she excelled, but most of all, she feared God, and so we believe that one day she will rise even beyond the stars of heaven, for God has promised that he will turn our mourning into dancing, and he will let us not be ashamed of our hope. I'm pressing on the upward way, that was our graduation song from Mount Alvernia. And press on she did, gaining new heights every day. Her achievement made us always proud and beamed with pride. Yet speaking with Simone, one could never really tell because she never flaunted her intelligence on anyone. It's so hard to say goodbye were the words of the song that brought tears to her eyes on graduation day. And today, the graduates in the class of Mount Alvernia, 1993, are crying again. Like then, it's bittersweet tears of separation, mingled with that of great expectation. And so today, the entire Macquarie community and the Macquarie Church family, our pastor, Christopher Harvey, elders Young, Taylor, Cummins, Blaygrove, and their respective families, other families who were closely associated with Parsha, such as the Russells, the Jacksons, Bernards, Cars, 
the Mount Alvernia High School graduate in class of 93, the prefect body of which Simone was a part, the friends and teachers from Bethel Primary, we all mourn today with the Earls and the Barrett's family. But deep inside, we have the calm assurance that we will see our beloved princess again. So in times like these, when we can't trace God's hand, we will trust his heart, knowing that we will see our beloved princess again. Simone, you never allowed me to say goodbye, and so I won't. And so I said, until then, love unending. <laughs>